Australians look to reduce plastic waste, this might be the hardest to let go. It is about actually rethinking how we engage with products and how we actually um, design them to work effectively. Australians import about 52,000 tonnes of polystyrene every year. About a quarter of it is recycled, the rest ends up in landfill. The government wants to phase it out completely next year. Some businesses are already making the change. That's correct, no polystyrene throughout here. So as you can see, we've got layers of um, cardboard cut to size through here, the corrugated board, to give it that strength between the layers for the protection that it needs. This cardboard packaging is now used for all office furniture. It's strong enough to protect the product and costs about the same as polystyrene. Ultimately, working collaboratively with our suppliers and thinking creatively to design solutions that reduce environmental impact, but also help our customers take more sustainable actions. But cardboard can't replace polystyrene in all cases. That's where this Sydney business comes in. Since 1954, polystyrene has dominated this space. It's been the go-to in terms of best performance. And it's really not until now that there's been a viable alternative that delivers on the thermal performance. That's the big challenge. The answer was waste wool. So this is the wool that's the underbelly of the sheep. Until now, there was really not a commercial application for it. Now it's being used to ship food and medicines. These are some of the great examples, and, and there's a lot of them, of where businesses are actually rethinking how you engage with the product and what and how consumers will actually use it um, once they've finished with that packaging format as well. Consumers are key. The government plans to phase out single-use plastics like polystyrene, as well as cutlery, packaging and plastic bags by the middle of next year. But companies say the real pressure to use less of this comes from their customers. It's a vote for a future with less plastic. Margaret Paul, ABC News.